Hi, this is Melanie Fine with Chem in 10, and today I'm going to help you solve stoichiometry problems. Let's start with a sample problem. We have a reaction between nitrogen gas and hydrogen gas to make ammonia gas. And the question is, how many moles of ammonia can be produced from seven moles of hydrogen? So I always set these problems up, what do we want to find out, which is the number of moles of ammonia, and what we're given, which is seven moles of hydrogen. And notice it's in three significant figures, so our answer is going to be in three significant figures. So we need to go from moles of hydrogen to moles of ammonia. So this is a moles to moles problem, and we're going to need the mole ratio to solve it. So we want moles of ammonia from moles of hydrogen. Our molar ratio will tell us that three moles of hydrogen make two moles of ammonia. So that's our conversion factor. We set up our problem. Wanted question mark moles of ammonia is equal to seven moles of hydrogen dot line. We're going to set up our conversion factor so that moles of hydrogen cancel out. So we're going to find the part that has moles of hydrogen. Three moles of hydrogen we're going to put in the denominator which is equal to two moles of ammonia in the numerator. And notice that the units moles of hydrogen cancel out, and we're left with moles of ammonia, which we're trying to solve for. So we multiply the numerators together and divide by the denominators, and we get 4.67 moles of ammonia. Sample problem number two, we're going to use the same equation. How many grams of ammonia are produced from two moles of nitrogen? So we want grams of ammonia from two moles of nitrogen, so our wanted is grams of ammonia, and our given is two moles of nitrogen, again in three sig figs. So we're going to moles of nitrogen. We're going to have to convert that to moles of ammonia. And then once we convert it to moles of ammonia, we'll get grams of ammonia by multiplying by the molar mass of ammonia. So let's do this step by step. We need the molar ratio between moles of ammonia and moles of nitrogen, and the balanced equation tells us that one mole of nitrogen makes two moles of ammonia, and also the other, the other conversion factor is that one mole of ammonia weighs 17 grams. So we need to first convert moles of nitrogen to moles of ammonia, and then we're going to convert that to grams. We set up our problem question mark wanted, question mark grams of ammonia equals two moles of nitrogen dot line. We want to cancel out the units moles of nitrogen, so we find that here, we know that one mole of nitrogen, we're going to put that in the denominator, is equal to two moles of ammonia. So the moles of nitrogen will cancel out. Now that we have moles of ammonia, our step to convert that to grams of ammonia. We're going to put one mole of ammonia in the denominator to cancel out moles of ammonia in the numerator, and that's equal to 17.0 grams of ammonia, because one mole of ammonia weighs 17 grams. So we multiply the numerators together and divide by the denominators, and we get... 68.0 grams of ammonia and three sig figs. Sample problem number three. Same equation, how many moles of hydrogen react with 7.13 grams of nitrogen? So we want to know the moles of hydrogen and we're given 7.13 grams of nitrogen. So this is going to be a grams to moles problem. We start off with grams of nitrogen. We're going to have to convert that to moles of nitrogen and we do that with the molar mass of nitrogen. We, if we know how much one mole of nitrogen weighs, we can figure out how many moles of nitrogen we have. We're going to need to convert that to moles of hydrogen to solve our problem. So we know that one mole of nitrogen has a molar mass of 28.0 grams per mole. And we also know that one mole of nitrogen reacts with three moles of hydrogen. We get that from the balanced equation. We set up our problem, question mark moles of ammonia, excuse me, hydrogen is equal to 7.13 grams of nitrogen dot line. We want to cancel out grams of nitrogen, and we have that in this conversion factor. So we'll put 28.0 grams of nitrogen in the denominator, which is equal to one, to one mole of nitrogen in the numerator. And we cancel out grams of nitrogen. Now that we have moles of nitrogen, we need to convert that to moles of hydrogen. And we get that, we know that one mole of nitrogen reacts with three moles of hydrogen. So, and that's our conversion factor here. So we put one mole of nitrogen in the denominator to cancel out moles of nitrogen in the numerator, which is equal to three moles of hydrogen. The moles of nitrogen cancel out. We multiply the numerators together and divide by the denominators and we get 0 0.764 moles of hydrogen. Sample problem number four. How many grams of ammonia 
are produced from 5 grams of hydrogen. We want to know the grams of ammonia and we're given 5 grams of hydrogen. So this is a grams to grams problem. We're going to have to go from grams of hydrogen to moles of hydrogen. We're going to do that by dividing by the molar mass of hydrogen. Once we get the moles of hydrogen, we can then convert that to moles of ammonia using the mole ratio. And once we have moles of ammonia, we're going to have to convert that to grams of ammonia by multiplying by the molar mass of ammonia. So just looking at this problem, we have 5 grams of hydrogen gas. Hydrogen gas is about 2 grams per mole, because we have 2 hydrogens. So we have about 2.5 moles of hydrogen. I can just, I'm just eyeball, eyeballing this here. We have 2.5 moles of hydrogen. We want to know how many grams of ammonia we're going to make. Well, we're going to make less than 2.5 moles of ammonia. It's a 3 to 2 ratio. Okay, we make a little bit less than 2 moles of ammonia. We're going to multiply that by the molar mass of ammonia, which is 17 grams. If we had 2 moles of ammonia, that would be 2 times 17 would be 34 grams. So I expect my answer to be less than 34 grams. Let's see. We need our conversion factors. We need the molar mass of and the molar mass of ammonia. And we also need the molar ratio between ammonia and hydrogen. And from the balance equation, we see that 3 moles of hydrogen make 2 moles of ammonia. Now we have everything we need. We set up our problem, question mark wanted, question mark grams of ammonia is equal to 5 grams of hydrogen dot line. We want to cancel out grams of hydrogen first, because that's in the numerator. We find the conversion factor that has grams of hydrogen, which is the molar mass of hydrogen. So 2 grams of hydrogen is equal to 1 mole of hydrogen, and the grams cancel out. Once we have moles of hydrogen, we want to convert that to moles of ammonia. And for the balanced equation, we know that 3 moles of hydrogen is equal to 2 moles of ammonia, and the units moles of hydrogen cancel out. We're not finished yet because we want the grams of ammonia, not the moles of ammonia. So to get grams of ammonia from moles of ammonia, we see that we have 17 grams per mole of ammonia. So 1 mole of ammonia is equal to 17 grams, and the moles of ammonia cancel out. We multiply the numerators together and divide by the denominators, and we get 28.3 grams of ammonia. And I said our answer is going to be somewhere less than 34 grams, which I guess is a wide range of answers, but I can see from 28.3 grams that, that I got something somewhere around what I estimated to be correct. I hope you enjoyed this video. To get more stoichiometry help and to get a free copy of my Amazon book, Solving Mole Problems, go to purplestoich.com. This is Melanie Fine, and this is Chem in 10.